Welcome to United Kids. My name is Natalie and it is fantastic to see you. Today I am at Stormy Lake um, and we came to see this rock over here. Apparently it's called an elephant. If you could tell me why that, I, that would be great, send me an email. Anyway, I hope you're having a great day and enjoying your summer. We're going to kick it off this morning with a song. Hi everyone, uh, we're going to sing a really simple song together to glorify God and uh, you just need to repeat after me and I'll show you when it's your turn to sing. But we also wanted to play with uh, some rhythm today. So we've got some rhythm instruments. We want you to go and get something that you can make a rhythm on. It could be a drum, it could be a pan, it could be a shaker or even just use your thighs. And then we're going to play a little game where Sam plays a rhythm and then we have to see if we can play it back to him. Okay, so we are going to continue our story of Moses and find out what happens next. Um, if you can hear snoring in the background, that's Piper. She's asleep over there. Okay, I'm not asleep. It's her. Okay, so um, this is called A Place to Worship and it is found in Exodus 25 to 27. And you can read along with me. Moses spent many days on Mount Sinai, which is a big mountain. God gave him laws for the people to follow so that they should all live in peace and honour God properly. Rules concerning food, cleanliness, sacrifices, punishment and many other things. But most important of all were the Ten Commandments, which we read about last week, which were uh, written upon two large stone tablets. A bit different to the tablets nowadays, these are actually made of stone and they had writing on them. God told Moses that the Israelites must build a special place to keep these tablets. They were to be kept inside a wooden chest covered with the purest gold, known as the Ark of the Covenant. So a very special box to hide very special tablets. This was to be kept inside an inner shrine, inside a large tent known as a tabernacle. The tabernacle would travel with the Israelites wherever they went, and so they carried the presence of the Lord with them on all their travels through the desert. Now back in those times, this was before Jesus. They didn't have Jesus or the Holy Spirit, so they had to talk to God through very, very different ways. They had a very, very holy place where they met with God. 
Now, because we have Jesus as our friend, we can meet with God in our hearts and in our minds through talking to God. So it is very, very different. But back then, this is what they had to do. And I wonder if you can remember all the Ten Commandments. I'm going to give you a challenge now to pause this video and see if you can remember all the Ten Commandments with the, with the hand signs. Why don't you give it a practice? And if you can't remember, go back to next week's, sorry, last week's video and check it out. Good luck. So I thought we could go into a bit more detail about our story today. So what I have done is I have created the Ten Commandments on the two stone tablets. And if you remember, last week um, we we talked about the Ten Commandments. Put, your, put God first, don't bow down to false idols, don't lie, those sort of things. Now these were very, very special rules that God gave Moses and um, on these tablets and he had very special instructions now in our story it says that it um, these tablets were put in a wooden chest covered by gold now I don't have a gold box but I had a jewelry box and I thought that would be the next best thing so I'm gonna put my um, tablet in there to represent the Ark of the Covenant so that was where these special rules were kept it then says that there was um, another part they had a, a shrine and the lar large part was covered by a tabernacle so that is what is going over the top and then outside that was another um, fenced off area so that this area became very very holy now if the if the priests or if anybody if the priest wanted to talk to God that they would have to go into this fenced area then into here to speak to God now, that seems like an awful lot of work to me. What do you think? The thing is, we now uh, don't live in the same time as these people. We have Jesus. And Jesus, after he went back to heaven, gave us the gift of the Holy Spirit. So that we don't have to talk to God in strange or mysterious ways like this. We don't have to put special things in a box. We don't have to cover it with gold and have all of this... Um, fancy stuff going on we can literally just talk to God in our minds and in our hearts through prayer and God says he always always listens so isn't that amazing we no longer have a God that is far off and distant we have a God that doesn't live here he lives in here Well, I hope you enjoyed that this morning. It was great to see you. I'm going to look, say a little prayer, thanking God for the amazing creation that's around me. And maybe you can add your own thank yous in at the end. And if you're doing anything like this, why don't you show me some pictures or send me some pictures via email? That would be awesome. Dear God, I want to thank you for all this incredible beauty. All the animals. I've seen turtles and deer today. Birds. I want to thank you for all these amazing plants that give us the oxygen to breathe and the food we need to eat. Lord, thank you for all of the fun we get to have this summer. I ask that you protect all my friends at Trinity United Church. Keep them safe. You let them have a lot of fun over the summer, whatever they're up to, and that we can be together really, really soon. And it's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Well, I hope you had fun coming with me on my little journey this morning. I certainly had fun and I hope to see you really soon. Take care guys. God bless.